Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for April 21st, 2021. Well, doggone it, those bulls just found a reason to surge really hard in the Dow yesterday, pushing up towards some resistance levels. And this morning, we're all set up for a gap uh, higher inspired by earnings. However, we still have a NASDAQ yesterday that struggled as Netflix really drug that index down, losing $50 billion in value in a single day. Kind of an interesting situation in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Now, one of the things that's going on here in the market, we've been talking about over and over and over this downtrend. And what we need is we need to prove that we can break that downtrend and then hold a higher low. Well, unfortunately, we're just um, kind of the... It's kind of been the spirit of this market here um, recently. Either we're running for the doors in panic or we're racing in in some wild speculation. There's no evenness at all in the market. It's just surge or fail all at once. So what we're doing is we're doing that surge where we're stretching out, making this very difficult. So one of the things I want to caution you on this morning is be really careful chasing stocks already well extended off of their support levels. Just notice if we were to pull back in here to price support in the chart, that would be a pretty painful pullback here in the Dow. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. Now, of course, we could pull back into a little bit of a higher level, maybe right into here, we could pull back into there. And let's keep in mind that we are very quickly, you know, in a three day move, we are approaching substantial re price resistance levels in the chart, just right across there, substantial price resistance levels. And the question is, can we push on through at that point in time we'll have to wait and see now if this is our new trend which it appears that it would be our new trend at this point after holding this higher low in here then any kind of rest or pullback in here could certainly set up more upside opportunity but we do kind of need that pullback that confirmation that we're actually going to hold after gapping and surging so quickly to the upside so be kind of careful here watch for that possibility that we could pop our head into that resistance be a little bit overbought in the short term and then have kind of a nasty little whipsaw reversal on the day and there may be some reason reasons why that could occur um, when we talk about items in the economic report today. Let's take a look at our SPY. Now, unfortunately, our SPY didn't have quite as good a day. We popped and dropped on the day, and we are still struggling against price resistance here in the chart. Whoops, sorry, that changed the tool on me. Um, we're struggling against that price resistance in the chart, and we'll want to be watching this area right through here as we try to approach these resistance levels on up. Now, keep in mind that we certainly are breaking that little downtrend right there. So if we were to rest or consolidate right here, that gives us that upside opportunity where we could continue to move to that upside. However, if uh, we kind of stretch this out a little bit too far too fast in the Dow and see some selling coming in, we'll want to watch this um, trending area right in here in that little support level if we do happen to whipsaw or try to come back um, in those charts. So keep an eye on those resistance levels up above. Um, right now, um, buyers just seem to be willing to surge hard, um, even with um, rising interest rates and Ukraine situation, higher food prices, all of these things out there. We're just ignoring those or choosing to ignore those, at least for the moment, 
um, and just piling back into stocks in pretty wild speculation, in my opinion. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't make money in this, because you certainly can, and I'm making some money in it, but you got to be really, really careful here. Let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ struggled yesterday. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Netflix lost about $50 billion yesterday, and it's kind of funny to me that after the earnings report, um, all of the institutions, all the analysts come in and downgraded the company. So they piled on yesterday, adding, I think, 10 downgrades to Netflix um, yesterday. So thanks for being a little bit late to the party. But if we take a look right in here, we have some resistance in that chart that we still are struggling with. And if you'll notice here in our... Um, uh, moving average chart, we're still below that 50 day moving average. And although we're trying to get a little bit of inspiration today off of that Netflix earnings report, we really are still struggling in, in here. And unfortunately, we also have a complication in here of our bonds creating some issues here for um, those tech stocks. Um, right now, our five year bond is inverted over the 10 year bond. And our five year bond is priced almost equally with the 30 year bond. We're very, very close to that possible inversion of the 530. So that's creating a little bit of tension and problems here in that chart, but nothing terrible. And let's keep in mind that we have that resistance here in the chart of that little downtrend. And then we've got these levels of resistance above that we still need to deal with in that chart. If the bulls can get inspired today or continue to stay inspired, and push on through. Let's see if we can break in and get the NASDAQ going along with the rest of the market. If we happen to fail here, that could be problematic because if we lose this support, well, then I would suspect a retest of lows could be on the way here in the NASDAQ. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our um, IWM, um, the Russell. Um, also surged nicely, um, but just not following suit with the Dow um, in, in the real strong move to the upside. And as you can see, we're running into um, a very strong level of price resistance as we push back up here. So keep that in mind. If those bulls can remain inspired here and we can test these resistance levels in the chart, see if we can punch on through. But we have that a very real possibility that IWM can't make that move occur and we start to roll back uh, down. So watch that close in here. Now we have broken that little downtrend in the chart, so that's bullish for the market. But this is a massive level of price resistance above. I mean, just absolutely massive. So we'll want to be watching that pretty closely. Let's take a look at our uh, VIX. Our VIX yesterday declined pretty nicely, but honestly, probably not as much as I think everyone would have expected um, with such a strong performance in the Dow yesterday. And I guess that's probably because we didn't have that same strong um, activity in the SPY and the QQQ yesterday. So when we look at this chart, we still have those complications where we're sitting here above that 20 handle in the chart. Now, with the bullish move that we're seeing this morning, the gap up open that we're seeing this morning, I would expect us to drop down through that level here at the open. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And if we start drawing some lines on here, you can see we have a little downtrend starting to, to develop here. We've kind of broken this little upside up trend. So that's bullish here on the VIX. But you do have to wonder when we surge so much so quickly if there's a little bit of complacency in that. And um, we, as we approach these resistance levels, what we don't want to see is we don't want to see that whipsaw where we pop into that resistance immediately, get selling coming into the market and have that bounce right back up. So watch that closely. Keep in mind, I drew that right there so we can uh, notice this little price support right there in the chart. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Our T2122 is possibly going to be a problem for us um, uh, later on today. Notice that we pushed up here pretty good and then that selling right at the end of the day kind of softened that just a little bit. At one point in the day we were approaching this um, 
uh, bearish res um, reversal zone in our T2122. So with this big gap up this morning, I would expect us to potentially be right up here in this area of T2122 and that potential um, combining with the resistance levels in the chart where we could see that potential of whipsaw where we pop our gap, we get that pop and drop uh, type pattern in the market where we push right up in there and then we see that potential reversal to the downside. And um, we'll want to watch carefully for that possibility. Now, I'm not saying that that has to happen. We can continue to push on through to the upside. And we've seen here recently where we got really carried away. We pushed ourselves clear up here um, to the nosebleed section of T2122 before we pulled back. So I don't want to give you the impression that we can't go higher because we certainly can. Just that, that place where we're kind of stretching this out and we need to be a little bit careful and not be chasing stocks that are already extended. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108, this is bullish for the market. Notice that the stocks holding above the 40-day moving average doing a lot better. Um, we held that last Thursday low, even though we pulled back um, um, on um, early this week, but we didn't um, we didn't break through um, to the downside here in that chart. So I'm I'm giving that to the bulls. And if you notice right in here, as we reach right up into this area, we could be reaching up here for another test of that level right up here. We do have a little bit of price resistance right across there to be considering in the chart. But so far, got to give this to the bulls. They're trying really hard to turn things around here in the market. If we take a look at our T2107, this is actually even a little bit better. And noticing that our T2107, we have um, nearly 40% of our stocks on the um, trying to push above that 200 day moving average and hold above that 200 day. And we're up here testing that um, downtrend resistance in the chart and the price resistance that we see right in here. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely as well. This is where that that pop and drop could be a problem for us if we pop into those resistance levels in um, those index charts and then we find those sellers coming in because we just stretch too far too fast then another failure here could be a, a bit of a problem for us so we'll want to watch those levels pretty closely and then if we take a look at our t2101 unfortunately we're still not getting a whole lot of help with t2101 and the reason is we're rallying so strongly here in the dow but look how weak the volume was yesterday the volume was pathetic um very very anemic um so we're going to oops i'm sorry there was a two day um just not really strong we surged right at the end of the day pushing that up just a little bit but volumes have been um, really low and if we take a look at the spy and the qqq they remain kind of subpar in there um, just not giving us a whole lot of momentum even though we're seeing such a surge here in the Dow. So keep a close eye on that. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things on here today that could be interesting uh, for us as we progress. First off, we've got jobless claims. Those have been coming in really, really strong and I kind of expect this number will stay pretty good uh, today. But we do have a Philly Fed number and right now the consensus is suggesting that that Philly Fed is going to, to decline. So we've been ignoring a lot of this housing, you know, um, pulling um, uh, housing prices continuing to go up as demand falls, um, which is an interesting situation. Um, uh, mortgage applications, 50% uh, less than they were just one year ago. So we're starting to see those dynamics in the market that give us just that little bit of edgy concern here to be watching for. And if we see manufacturing declining, that could be a problem for us as well. Um, so watch that carefully. We've got a natural gas report, but probably the biggest thing that could move us around today, we've got Jerome Powell. Jerome Powell's going to be speaking at 11 o'clock today, and then again at 1 p.m. today. We'll want to keep an eye on those reports. We know the Fed is talking more aggressively and moving more aggressively. And what's um, we're going to follow up Jerome Powell um, with James Bullard, and we know he tends to be the most aggressively hawkish uh, Fed member out there, um, he's been pushing right now for a 75 basis point increase 
in rates. So that could shock the market if they move that aggressively. So keep an eye on those. That could be a reason that we kind of stall out as we hit these resistance levels with that little bit of uncertainty here in the market. So watch that closely. And then keep in mind as you plan forward, we got the PMI composite on a Friday morning. Um, not that that's going to be anything that stalls us out or anything like that, but just something to pay attention to um, as we head into the Friday. Let's take a look. If we uh, look at our earnings calendar today, we do have a busy day on the earnings calendar. It's our busiest day of the week with about 120 or so companies um, listed on the calendar. Pulling out some of the notables that we'll want to be paying attention to today, we've got like Dow Chemical will be reporting today. This has been an incredible upside run. As a matter of fact, I would say it is now parabolic and you can see that it's surging here yet this morning to the upside. So be kind of careful with that. Um, um, we're going to have um, um, ALK, um, we've got some airlines in here. ALK will be reporting, looks like they're surging and breaking through some resistance levels in the chart with lots of other resistance above still in that chart. We've got American Airlines also surging back up, trying to break these downtrends. Gonna have to test some pretty big resistance levels here in that chart to break on through. So watch that. We're gonna hear from AT&T um, this morning, AT&T. Looks like it's trying to push up this morning. Now, I don't know if that's the report or just the excitement of the overall market right now, pushing everything up. We've got, um, uh, um, no, AN. Um, we've got AutoNation reporting today. It looks like they're uh, looking a little bit lower here at the morning. Uh, we've got Blackstone reporting. Looks like it's trying to move up. We've got a little metal in there, FCX, that'll be reporting um, ISRG is on the list today. We've also got Key Bank on the list. So we've got quite a few out there along with some um, uh, conser or, um, consumer defensive type stocks reporting with uh, Philip Morris, some utilities um, in there that's going to report. So just keep an eye. We've got a busy, busy day of reports this morning, which means we could see quite a little bit. Whoops, that was NEE. I wanted quite a bit of um, volatility um, in the market this morning. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, you know what to do. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button and also click that bell icon when it pops up. That way you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy and helpful, please do me that favor. Continue to click those thumbs up buttons and leave the brief comment. It's, it's the engagement with the channel and even engagement with other folks that have posted on the channel that help the channel to grow. So thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time to do that. And thank you for those continuing to support the channel through Buy Me a Coffee. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, let's take a look at a few of those stocks that could be setting up. And I'm running a little bit short of time, so I'm going to have to be quick here. Let's take a look at some of these that, um, well, I'm keeping a kind of an eye on. Take a look at CLX. I've placed a price alert here on CLX because I'm watching, whoops, right there. I'm watching this carefully here for that potential that this could pop. We've been seeing a lot of consumer de defensive stocks showing considerable strength. And with this gap above, there may be some opportunity here in CLX. Now, one of the things I want to remind you guys of, and it's really, really important that you pay attention to these earnings reports. Um, and on my TC2000, I actually have it set up right there in my toolbar where I can see when the next earnings report is expected but make sure you're paying attention to those because it's easy to get caught into an ugly situation on some of these charts watch that carefully so CLX take a look at um, MDLZ Mondelez Mondelez has been moving up nice and strong we identified this one um, if you remember from the morning prep reports identified this one early popping through that's moving up nicely approaching some resistance in the chart we're still seeing stocks like KHC surging to the upside. Um, Hershey 
um, surging, a little big old pop and drop going on here in Hershey this morning. So keep an eye on some of these. A lot of these need a little bit of a rest or consolidation before they continue up. But they have been, you know, the only way we can run a trend like this, guys, is having tremendous institutional support. And what I think has happened is this rotation where we're rotating out of tech, those high flying techs, and we're rotating into more defensive sector type socks, um, dividend payers, um, some of the old standards in the market. So watch those closely. Now let's also take a look at um, some of these metals out there. Um, Steel Dynamics reported yesterday and a uh, little pop and drop on the morning today, but steel has been very, very strong in that commodity sector. Anything in those materials sectors have been holding up really, really strong as our inflation continues to push to the upside. Um, we can see the same thing if we look at um, um, some of these um, energy stocks devon energy beautiful setup here the other day pushing through to the upside looking very very good so keep a close eye on that we're seeing those continue to surge in that energy sector and we are also seeing um, um, areas like um, um, healthcare. Um, if we look in XLV, XLV, nice rally here in XLV over the last few days, pushing up strongly. And you can see we're going to try and push back up here and test some resistance in the chart. And if we run through some of those, we've got quite a few really good patterns showing up, um, coming up out of bottoms. Some of them are really strong, moving to the upside. So kind of keep an eye. MK, um, MCK is one of those beautifully strong um, stocks to, uh, pushing to the upside. So watch those closely. A lot of healthcare moving um, um, quite strongly. Take a look at some of the travel stocks. Um, um, some of our um, UAL here gapping strongly higher here this morning. A little rest or pullback could set up an, an opportunity. Um, um, Expedia is pushing up toward this downtrend. Let's see if that can push on through. We're getting a lot of that travel related type stock. I saw moves in um, like uh, casinos yesterday trying to push through some downtrends. Keep an eye on those. They're trying to come back around as we remove some of these COVID restrictions and masking restri restrictions from travel. So you might want to watch that. Of course, the federal government is going to appeal um, that ruling and, and it may come back on, which could hurt these, but we'll want to watch those pretty closely. Um, places that you might want to uh, start looking for potential short trades. Take a look at stocks like BAC. BAC pushing into its downtrend, showing a little bit of bearishness right in here. Watch that carefully as we test these resistance levels. Financials are struggling because they're not getting the loan activity that they um, have seen in the past. A um, little bit of pressure here, so watch for those potentials that stocks like BAC, Citibank, WFC could reverse um, this surge to the upside against this downtrend, and we could see some more selling in those financials. So watch some of those closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you so much for your support of the channel. I want to wish you all of the best, and we'll see you right back here, right early Friday morning. Take care, everyone.